Hi guys, so you're very welcome to the castle. The castle was built in 1625, nearly 400 years ago. And whenever I visit the castle, I always like to try and find out when it was built and why it was built where it was. And so the reason is it's on two major river valleys and they were the main trade arteries of the day. So basically, they managed to make a garrison so they could control the trade because back in those times, outside of the pale area around Dublin, there wasn't a lot of law and order in the countryside. So that's the original part of the castle, that kind of curve wall there, that dates from 1625. <laughs> and the bits we're standing on around here, they're all from sort of 1675 onwards. And so you kind of have a family part of the castle, and then there's sort of later um, to the, the military core with the family extensions. So all around here you've got different trophies from the sort of family area. 150, 200 years ago, these would have been very exotic. Mm -hmm. People who wouldn't have been able to travel would have been like blown away by being able to see things like that, which they wouldn't have had a clue of that, uh, even though they existed sometimes. Um, so we're going to bear in mind then a lot of people would never have left the parish they were born in. Yeah, the vast majority of people wouldn't have left the parish they were born in. Then kind of coming on to the military side, you've got things like this is some of the armour. This is the average size male torso in the 1600s. Wow. Wow. See how small it is? Nice. That's down to childhood nutrition. So childhood nutrition was a major, um, well, it was, it was terrible basically. So that meant that children were basically had their growth stunted. And uh, that result, that was the result. Also, life expectancy is about mid forties for the average person, so not a nice time to be to be alive. In. So guys, we're going to come up this way to the dining room. So you follow me up this way. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, no, you're good. You're good. It's relaxed. Yeah. Cool, I'll just get it on Alex, 50%, please. So guys, here's the 1625 in the, in the centerpiece of the fireplace. That's where, as, as I was saying, when the castle was built. This room would have looked very different. This would have been a guard room. This would have had very simple furniture. You would have had the big fireplace. You would have had benches, weapon racks, and soldiers, because it was a military building, don't forget. Your weakest point is your front door. So what you want to do is you want to have people here 24-7, able to defend your front door. So you have to think of a total different concept as a building, how it worked, how it functioned. When they made it into family home, they started adapting the rooms, so they made the windows bigger, because the windows in military buildings are about that wide. So yeah. as yeah. dark as it is now, it would have been a lot darker. Um, and then they just made the windows bigger, they put all the, the sort of decorations around the room and the furniture, these are lovely uh, New Elizabethan plastic house ceilings around the walls, then you've got these better intent hangings. These are really rare examples, collected from about 18, 40 years in North Africa by Uncle John Burke, who was a cousin of ours. He converted to Islam and travelled around North Africa with the uh, 11 children, which be 72 years of age, which is still supposed to be a ghost that haunts the castle. Oh. Uh, you've got uh, <laughs> a lovely uh, stained glass window here, which shows some of the, uh, the Esmond family yeah, history. Cool. So the Esmond family is the family that built the castle um, in uh, 1605. They came over to Ireland in 1102, military adventurers. What happens is the name changes twice. So here's Helen. She marries this guy, Richard Durden. So she's the eldest daughter, right? So they have no sons. So the name changes from Esmond to Durden. A v is, is like a U is a V in the, in, in the, in the sort of Latin script. These guys are off to America. They found the town of Huntington in Pennsylvania, called out this castle. And then the Durdens are the name in charge. This one finishes 1849. 1880, same thing happens. They have all girls. Eldest daughter called Helen. And she marries someone called Herbert Robertson. So the family name today is Durden Robertson. But it's the same family going back to when the castle was built. But because the girls have inherited twice, mm -hmm. and they have changed twice. Um, we'll go over here. We'll go through here. I'll just chat about something around here. Yeah. Okay. So if you look around here, guys, you've got all the original plaster work from the 1720s which is Irish plaster panelling, again with nice near Elizabethan ceilings. And you've got all the original light fixtures. So these were all rewired uh, in recent times, but these are the original ones, and they're dated from 1888. And this is the first house in Ireland to have electricity, first part of the house, because it had its own hydroelectric scheme um, in the 1880s, which is quite early on. Most even big houses in England didn't get electricity until the 1920s, so they had electricity quite early on. In fact, it was such novelty, it was a tourist attraction, they put a wooden post on the front lawn and people would walk all day to get here to then see it. To see it in the dark, wow. to see the light bulb. Yeah. Bit, yeah. Uh, as it's called artificial light, yeah. so it's a big 
being hit, they're all just being blown over the doors and come out. So they walk home all night oh in the dark. It's yeah. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> um, well, we're into the conservatory. Good, yeah. Tired arms. And just give me a second, Alex. So here we are in the conservatory. Obviously, it's less it's fine, which looks famous in the summer, but not at the moment. You've got this lovely uh, mural here painted in 1928 showing the castle. You've got the gardens there. You walk, which is across the lawn. That's one of the uh, best in the world. It's about 500 years old. And the huge trees make this lovely double tunnel underneath. You have to sort of see it from being underneath, if that makes sense. Um, and then you've got the sort of the centre walk down to the River Derry. And then there's a the turbine house that's made of electricity. And there's all the kids playing and stuff. It's like this kind of summer, summer project when they were in, when they were little children. So it's quite a cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. Now we go through the tapestry room. Okay. No, it's all good, thanks. So guys, here we are in the tapestry, you've got obviously lots of tapestries. That one there is probably the best tapestry in the castle. That's an Obazon tapestry from the area of Obazon, Central France, in 1760. It takes about a year per square metre per person to make. Uh, so it's obviously very, very time intensive. And um, it's, nowadays, you can still get a mirror that's really expensive. It's about 40 grand plus wow. that per square metre. Wow, per square metre. Per square metre. <laughs> so it's... Uh, and did yeah. Grace and Perry go yeah. there? Yeah, I mean, you can get... There's a place in Madrid that makes them like that, the other way on. Like they have a big map wide loom, the full width of that, and there's like eight people sitting at this time. Like this. And I say, if you just point to the tapestry again. So there we are, there's a tapestry. And you can see, guys, here, if I, if I fell back the colours, you see the lovely colours on oh, the back, yeah. in the reverse, where it has the baby, if you like. Uh, you've got different people in the. Um, so there's Nora, she's the lady that shot the crocodile. Oh, she's okay. oh, a very famous fisherwoman as well. And then here you've got Stanley Valley's picture of the Minster, unfinished sadly by Cecil Lawson because he proposed to the daughter of the house, uh, Helen Durden. She said, no, he stopped painting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have this Cassoni, which is an attack. People often think it's a coffin. It's opposite. It's a marriage chest. So in oh. Italy, especially in Renaissance Italy, um, um, noble families was sort of very, obviously, arranged marriages, massive, massive diaries, mm -hmm. millions and millions of euros in today's terms. And what happened was the daughter... That they had a family paid the dowry. So they would marry, and they, they would buy a beneficial marriage. They'd buy be buying wealth, influence, or, or alliances. And so she would be packed off with one of these that had the dowry in it, in gold, in ducats. That would be like a couple of million quid in there. And then into it, her, this is her father's chance to show off his wealth and magnificence. He'd fill it with all the best silks and cloths and everything else. And then on the front, you have the, this is a replacement panel. The original panel was a painted panel, and it would have been a landscape of where the girl grew up. And that's the start of landscape painting. Wow, And this has a Masaccio wow. landscape of Florence from 1450. This is made in 1450 in Florence. It's all this piece of Cool, go down to the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know everyone was going to be so many stories. Okay, so this is the Maltese thing. Yeah, they're sort of like all religions are welcome type thing. And they do like meditations and they do, um, I suppose, like kind of their own sort of festival. But it's not, it's not, it's kind of like basically based on meditation and nature. And it's still yeah. going in Ireland. Yeah, still going on. The, the roots of it are kind of half Irish. There's lots of kind of druids and New Age types that have really been starting it with my great aunt in the 70s. So it's kind of like hippies and New Age people. Mm -hmm. Kind of people you find in Glastonbury Tour mm -hmm. or Stonehenge on some sources. That's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Cool. Are you happy, sir? That was great, Alex. Thank you very much. Cool. And now it's just the entry into the front. Welcome them in, please. Hi guys, if you want to come over this way, we'll uh, come in and start the tour. Perfect, and you guys just wait there for a second. And then stand behind you as well. Sure, you can't do it then. And then over the shoulder. Yeah. Try. Perfect, and... <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to stand there and I'm going to cross, is that okay? Perfect.
Come in this way, guys. And cool, come in and fill up again. Right. Up the, up that way. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, guys. Hi. Cool. That's everyone. Perfect. Cool. Um, Job's good. That's great, guys. Thank you very, very much.